Hey everyone, Shine the Side. I'm a Litmus developer and a contributor. And today in this video, we're going to discuss about how we calculate resilience score for your workflows. So let's just get started. So I already have an Nginx deployment up and running, and that has been running in the experiments namespace. So I have this Nginx deployment created, and we are going to inject chaos on this particular uh, deployment. So the idea is uh, to inject two uh, different experiments. One is pod delete and the other will be pod network loss. Uh, two very simple experiments, but uh, used just for the context of understanding the weights. So we are gonna inject these two experiments and uh, we'll be manipulating with the weights and I'll, I'll help you understand how the math actually works uh, for these two uh, calculators in score. So as you can see in the litmus control plane, I have these two experiments already uh, set up and the target namespace is experiment, uh, like I already shared, that this Nginx deployment is running on the experiment namespace. Now, if I click on next, I should be able to see the wait screen. Now, I'm gonna make the reverse schedule as false since I want things to retain uh, and not get deleted. So if I click on next, I am presented with um, a prompt which gives me the weight weightage calculation. So I have these two experiments, right? Port delete and port network loss, and I can manipulate with the weight as, uh, as I want. So why do we actually need these weights? So weights are nothing but a way of uh, attaching an importance to your particular experiment. So let's say you have these two experiments here in this context. For your particular workload, uh, port delete might not be a very um, important uh, experiment, but you still need it to be there in your uh, chaos workflow. So you have added pod delete and you give it very less importance, whereas pod network loss in this case, you can give it much more importance since that's something your enterprise requirements need or your particular service needs. So in that case, you can make pod networks losses weight as 10, which is the maximum and pod, net, pod delete, you can set it as two or three, uh, whatever weight you want to assign. So this generally weight has a has a range from zero to three it's considered red which is you're not giving it that much importance from four to six it's considered as yellow which is you're giving it medium priority or medium importance and from seven and onwards you are giving it um, more more importance than medium so you are giving it a good amount of importance uh, and 10 is the maximum which is this is the most important uh, like you're giving it the highest importance in in, in the in your chaos workflow so once you have this um, weights set up, like the important set up in your particular workflows. So let's say I give pod delete a weight of two since uh, I don't want it to be that important, uh, but I still want it to be there in my workflow. And I want uh, pod network loss to be 10, which is the maximum. So once I set this, how do I actually get the resilience score? So the math behind that is what we do is we take this weight and multiply it by the probe success percent. Now each and every workflow would have a weight or would have a probe. If the workflow does not have probe in its manifest, we consider it as either zero or 100 based on how the workflow performed. So if the workflow was successful, the probe success percent is 100. If it failed, it's zero. So that's how we uh, append the success percent if the probe isn't there in your workflow. If it has a probe already, like let's say a uh, sock shop or some other standard uh, workflows it would consider a probe so those uh, whatever metrics or whatever results are returned by the probe that would be your probe success percent so it can either be 80 90 or 75 or whatever is returned by the um, calculations so the idea is we do weights multiplied by the probe success percent for each individual weights so for each individual experiment so let's say for pod delete we do 2 into probe success percent for pod network loss we would do the same 10 into probe success percent now we have that idea clear let's move on to our jam board so i can explain you in a better way so this is the experiment the weights the probe success percent and the total test results so in experiments we have pod delete and pod network uh, loss we gave it two weights, two and 10, like pod delete is currently having two, pod network loss is having 10. The probe success percent, let us assume that both of these experiments passed. And uh, so if it passes, and since th these uh, experiments do not have a probe attached, it will be 100 if it passes. If it fails, it will be zero. So assuming uh, all the two experiments pass, uh, I've kept the probe success percent as 100. So if it's 100, then we calculate the total test results as two multiplied by 100, which is 200. And in this case, it's uh, thousand. So the total test result will be 1200 and the weight sum, which is the total of the all the weights uh, you have assigned in, in your particular workflow, all the weights of the experiments that you have assigned, that is the weight sum. So in this case, it's 12. If you had one more experiment and you have given eight, so it'll be two plus 10 plus eight. So that's, that's the idea. 
the overall resilience score is basically a total test results divided by the weight sum so this 1200 divided by 12 which will give you 100 percent resilience since both of these experiments uh, passed with flying colors instead but uh, like our weight for this one was lower but because it passed and because both of them passed it's still 100 so the resilience score won't be affected by the weights it will only be affected if you if if, uh, if an experiment fails but weights is only for uh, us to determine which is more important which experiment is more important we take which experiment uh, has more importance in your workflow so now let's take a look at the actual code which is used to implement this so if i visit uh, vs code and i go to this backend section so you can find this code in your backend uh, uh, GraphQL server, PKG, Chaos Workflow, and Ops in the operations.go uh, file. You'd find this resilience score calculator. Now in this, whatever I mentioned right now, you can clearly see that um, it's using this X. X is the probe success percent, which will be returned to us when we run the workflow. So the total test results, which, in the, which is this in this case, so the total test result is equal to the individual weight given by you multiplied by the uh, X, which is the probe success percent. And the weight sum is, um, a cumulative uh, addition of the weights that is there so in this case 2 is the weight and uh, the x is this 100 which is the probe success percent and weight sum is this one which is a cumulative uh, addition that is continuously going on so once this is since it's a mapping as you can see at the top since this is a mapping uh, of all the different uh, experiments so it will keep uh, adding up and in, in, in the end we'll have a resilience score which is the total test results divided by the weight sum so this is how we actually calculate the resilience score and this is how things work. Now let me minimize this and actually execute this workflow. So if I schedule it now, I should get a summary of these two workflows and let me just execute the same. So now we have this part delete and part network loss experiment running. Uh, we'll just uh, wait for the experiment to finish and once that is done, I'll quickly go ahead and show you the analysis of the same and we'll get a bar graph where if, upon clicking we'll get a total a detailed description of the resilience score that our experiment has given us. So till that time let's just fast forward the experiment and I'll see you then. All right, so now that that's done, uh, let's actually check the uh, analytics section and uh, take a look at the uh, resilient graph. So if I click on show the analytics, I should be able to see this uh, this graph, which gives us a total resilient score, uh, past tests, failed tests, and, and lots of lots of metadata about the particular experiment. So if I click on this and scroll down, I can see that um, pod delete. Uh, passed the weights we selected was two the resulting points also were two and uh, this spot network loss had 10 same the resulting point was 10 and total resilience score is 100 so this verifies that whatever we did the calculation was correct since both of the experiment passed if one wouldn't have passed it would have been thousand it would have been just thousand so thousand divided by 12 uh, would be the um, resilience score in that matter so the the good point about having weights is let's say since this was less important to you in in your workflow if this for some reason if this failed then it wouldn't matter much in your resilience code it would still show as more resilient compared to if it had been the same weight because if it if it was 10 then it would uh, cut down to 50 percent right so it, it's 100 percent for two of them so one down 50 percent resilient but if it's just a weight weightage is just two if you do the math it would be much greater than 50 percent so uh, although this experiment failed for both the use cases but in in the latter use case when the weight was when it had a less importance uh, for your particular workflow the resilient score wasn't affected that much since this experiment doesn't hold that much importance that's the good point about weights and uh, with that I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you were clear about the different weightages and how we calculated and how that uh, the weight thing matters for us and you as a workflow creator. So yeah, that's all and signing off. Thank you for watching.